Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get pink hair temporarily. So if you ever get bored with your hair but are too scared to make a permanent change like me, this IGK color spray hairspray is amazing. Besides the spray, I'm also using some of my Bellamy extensions and I'm gonna start off by practicing on those. As you can see, they picked up color pretty easily. I'm sure there are much more strategic ways to do this, but I just started doing this without any planning and I wanted to film it, so I kind of had to hold it up straight right in front of me and let it go everywhere, but it wasn't too messy. I'm gonna switch off the voiceover for a sec so you can see what was actually happening. What? You put your real hair? Mm-hmm. Fucking make a video this is. What the f And does this wash right out? Fuck it, it's going there! Yep, so no planning at all. Just went for it. And it was actually really easy to use and it didn't make a mess. I put a towel on the chair I was sitting on, but it didn't even get on the towel and it kind of wiped off immediately of anything besides hair. Like my fingers, they were pink for like a second and then it just wiped right off. Kind of looks good. So at this point, half of my head is done and we know it's kind of looking pretty good. So I just continue to spray the other side and go back, fill in any of the blonde pieces. Again, it would probably be so much easier if someone else was spraying it for you. Um, it would probably take half as much time. Not that this took a lot of time, but still and now i'm just clipping in my extensions and brushing through it since it is hairspray it kind of just like sticks in whatever um i don't know crazy way i was tossing my hair around look at that hair what as i continued to just spray little pieces that were still blonde i got a little bit smarter and found if i use the plastic bag that it came in as a mitt or even just something to like hold right behind the hair. It was less messy, but again, you see my fingers are pink, but it like came right off before I even washed my hands, but it stays on the hair and your hair doesn't really transfer to anything. I'm doing the voiceover on this the next day and my hair is still pink and it didn't get on my pillow even. Um, so I was pretty excited about that. So all you have to do is brush through it and then it feels soft like normal hair again. So I just continued to brush through it and I just absolutely loved the results. I'm going to definitely use this product again. I'm not sure when or like when I would decide I want pink hair, but it looks so good. So I'll definitely at some point want to try this again. I feel like I look like a mermaid. I'm just obsessed. It actually has me considering going pink for like real. Now as a last minute finishing touch, I'm grabbing this Sigma lip gloss, which matches my hair perfectly and happened to be sitting on the desk conveniently in front of me and yeah. And that completes this look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I definitely would recommend this product if you have light blonde hair like me, because as you can see, it didn't really take to the darker brown, but um, the light blonde, it worked amazing. And it almost, and I wouldn't really want this part to be dyed anyway, because I would want like an ombre. Um, and so if you are looking to temporarily try out like a fun pastel color, like I might try blue next, um, this is definitely a great product. I ordered it online from Sephora, but they might also have it in stores. I am so obsessed with how it came out. I literally feel like a mermaid. To me, it almost looks like I have like a wig on, but I don't. It's a lot more comfortable than a wig, I would assume. So if you enjoyed this tutorial today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Bye.